I'm asking to be anonymous because I fear retaliation for speaking about the truth in Travis Firecloud's case. He was arrested two years ago, a little over two years ago, under allegations that he molested two small children that lived in the same household as him. And during that two-year period, he was taken by the federal court to various parts of the United States to be evaluated by six different psychologists. All of the psychologists found that he was incompetent to stand trial and it was unlikely that he molested those two children. In addition, there is medical evidence to show that the two children were molested, but it was before they went to live with Travis's uh, caregiver, um, the grandmother. And um, there's medical evidence to show that Travis did not have that venereal disease that the two children had, and that he was not a carrier of that venereal disease, so he could not have given it to the children. And even though the evidence shows and the psychologist's testimony show that he is innocent, he continues to be held in federal jurisdiction in the Hughes County Court because they believe that he may molest somebody in the future. He was released for a brief period of time under the stipulations that he not be around children that he not use alcohol and drugs, which he never has, and that he not go into any establishment that sells alcohol, which would include Walmart in Pierre, South Dakota. But my question is, why is he still being held if he was not convicted of any crime? If, if it's possible for the federal jurisdiction to put people in jail because they might commit crimes, well, then any of us could go to jail because any of us might do something in the future. There's no way of telling. I would like Congress to take a look at what is happening to Native Americans who get accused of crimes and are found not guilty or are found incompetent to stand trial. Why do they continue to be held in jurisdiction? Is there some kind of financial gain that somebody is benefiting from by keeping this young man in jurisdiction? He was born alcohol affected. He has a diagnosis of uh, fetal alcohol syndrome. And he didn't go very far in school, but he lived in a protected environment with an extended family and helped take care of their children over the years. He gets SSI, or he did when he, before he was in jail. He got SSI because he's disabled. And um, he really needs to be returned to his extended family. They miss him. They, the little kids cry for him. You know, what is the reason that he continues to be held in federal jurisdiction? Nobody can answer that question.